me. The Shockmaster. When it comes to infamous and unintentionally funny moments in wrestling, the debut of the Shockmaster in WCW is hard to beat. Poor Fred Ottman had the chance to make a shocking debut in WCW at Clash of the Champions 24, and while his debut would be memorable, it was definitely memorable for all the wrong reasons. Thanks to the advent of internet video and the excellent Botchamania series by Matthew Gregg, the Shockmaster debut continues to live on as a WCW moment that will never be forgotten, for better or for worse. Today's video takes a look at possibly the greatest and funniest blunder in pro wrestling history. Fred Ottman the man who put on the Silver Stormtrooper helmet and fell through a wall in his WCW debut as the Shockmaster was no newcomer to professional wrestling. Trained by the great Boris Milenko, Fred began his career in 1985 where he worked for Georgia Championship Wrestling, Texas All-Star Wrestling and the CWA. His imposing size caught the eye of Vince McMahon and in 1989 Fred Ottman made his way to the WWF. We all remember Fred portraying the babyface tugboat character but he made his debut under the ring name Big Steel Man. Yep, Big Steel Man, very original. Fred was also named Tugboat Tyler and Tugboat Thomas before settling on just Tugboat. Fans will also remember Fred Ottman as Typhoon, one half of the Natural Disasters tag team along with John Tenta, who portrayed Earthquake. The Natural Disasters began as a heel tag team but eventually they turned babyface, so already here, Fred Altman was used to gimmick changes and persona changes. The Natural Disasters remained in the WWF from 1991 to mid-1993 and it was here when Fred Altman found work in World Championship Wrestling. Before we get to the debut, let's look at what was going on in WCW and the angle which Fred would find himself introduced in. Beach Blast 1993 had just took place the month before Clash of the Champions 24, an unintentionally funny pay-per-view in its own right thanks to these mini movies that WCW produced in order to hype the tag team main event. Big Van Vader was running roughshod in World Championship Wrestling at this time and Beach Blast 1993 saw Vader team up with Sid Vicious to take on Sting and Davy Boy Smith. Sting and Davy Boy got the win here in a match that was actually pretty good. So naturally Vader and Sid Vicious would be looking for some revenge against the man called Sting and the British Bulldog. The next pay per view of 1993 would be Fall Brawl on September 19th and the main event would feature the War Games match. Vader and Sid would team up with Kane and Cole, better known as Booker T and Stevie Ray, to form their four man War Games team while Sting and Davy Boy would enlist Dustin Rhodes and a mystery partner. This mystery partner would be revealed to the world at Clash of the Champions 24 during Ric Flair's Flair for the Gold promo segment. So at Clash of the Champions in Daytona Beach, the Flair for the Gold segment got underway. Many people have only seen shots like this when they've watched the Shockmasters debut and maybe people don't realise that this was actually done in the arena and not backstage or in another part of the building. The Shockmaster debut happened in front of the live audience in attendance and a live television audience at home. So Sting and Davy Boy are introduced by Flair and it isn't long before Colonel Parker said Kane and Cole interrupt the baby faces. Sid tells Sting and Davy Boy that he has waited long enough and he wants to know who the mystery partner is. Sting says on the mic, All I have to say is our partner is going to shock the world because he is none other than the Shockmaster. 
There's no doubt in my mind that you know exactly what happened next. Pyro goes off and Fred Ottman makes his debut as the Shockmaster by falling through a wall. He lands right on the floor, his glitter Stormtrooper helmet falls to the ground and the other wrestlers involved in the segment can be heard laughing while showing their disbelief at this monumental blunder. Fred scrambles to grab his Stormtrooper helmet as he gets back to his feet and then he speaks. Ole Anderson provided a live voiceover for the Shockmaster which really only added to the humour here. In a grovelly voice the Shockmaster said to Sid Vicious, So you're the man who rules the world, they call me the Shockmaster. You've ruled the world long enough Sid Vicious, get ready. Come on, you want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? Come and get me. Come after me, Sid. I'm ready. Along with Davy Boy, Sting and Dustin Rhodes, we'll see you at the Fall Brawl. We'll see you at the War Games. Not you win. In re-releases of Clash of the Champions 24 on the WWE's old 24 service and the WWE Network, the audio has been edited but if you watch the clip back on the WWE's Legends of Wrestling show, you can hear most of the original audio. Davy Boy Smith shouts that the Shockmaster just fell flat on his ass. Stevie Ray says, who is this mother and Ole Anderson can clearly be heard laughing before starting the Shockmaster's voiceover promo. At the beginning of the next match, Jesse Ventura said on commentary, And what an entrance by the Shockmaster! Tony Schiavone said on his What Happened When podcast, Jesse Ventura and I laughed so hard and we were so glad there was a commercial break coming up after this. As we come back, we are laughing again and I don't know how to handle it. We were supposed to sell the Shockmaster as this big guy who could take care of Sid Vicious. It was the funniest moment I have ever been part of. It was an amazing scene. So how did this happen? The Shockmaster's debut has indeed become probably wrestling's greatest botch and for good reason too. It never gets old seeing poor Fred Ottman fall through the wall. But exactly how did this blooper happen? Did he trip over something? Did he use too much force? Was he misdirected? Fred Ottman said the following during a shoot interview with RF Video. I got into the position I needed to be at. I've got this mask on that I can't see out of and I have to bust through a wall that's just like a wall in your house. Mike Graham was the guy in the gorilla position and he is going to give me the cue. I try to tell him that I can't see out of the mask and he tells me to just hit the wall with everything I got. I put my hands up to double axe the wall, he gives me the cue and I blasted the walls 2x4s, I snapped them. What I should have done, or rather what the Shockmaster should have done, I should have kicked the bottom out. I busted through the wall fine, but the wall at my knees didn't break. Here I am, I blew this wall through, and my momentum and weight made me fall. We were live, not videotaped, I stood up and tried to cut the promo. I got ribbed so much for years, if I screw up I take things straight to heart. I've always been that way. Dusty Rhodes, Fred's brother-in-law, was able to give a bit more backstory on why and how the blooper took place on the WWE's Legends of Wrestling show. While discussing wrestling's worst characters, Dusty Rhodes said, I was there, obviously. I came up with the idea. Fred is a great guy. Earlier in the day, Fred busted through the wall. It was all good. David Crockett had somebody nail a 2x4 on the bottom of the new wall that wasn't there when he busted through the wall the first time. The pyro goes off and poor Fred busts through the wall and hits the 2x4 that David put down there. The Shockmaster fell, the helmet rolled off and he began fumbling around to get the helmet back on. I was laughing so hard they almost had to take me to hospital. Young Cody was watching this at home with his friends as a kid and when the helmet came off he turned to his friends and said, I think that was Uncle Fred. 
Fred came back in the gorilla, he flopped the helmet down onto the desk and I couldn't even talk. They had to take me to my room, I was laughing so hard. So it seems then that a 2x4 was placed at the bottom of the wall which wasn't there during rehearsals and this is why the Shockmaster fell, according to the late Dusty Rhodes. Just before we leave Clash of the Champions 24, I just want to mention that somehow Ric Flair managed to transform into a cardboard cutout of himself as he was bailing from the segment. Have a look here. Let's take a look then at Fall Brawl 1993, the Shockmaster's in-ring debut. Everyone has saw the botch, it's as historic as it is funny, but not many people bothered to check out what happened when the Shockmaster made his way to War Games in 93. To be honest, this wasn't the best War Games match by any stretch of the imagination. You can do much better than Fall Brawl 1993, but anyway, as you can see here, the Shockmaster lost the Stormtrooper mask and instead he was given a workman's hard hat. The the Shockmaster was now some sort of construction worker, gone was the DIY Star Wars costume and furry vest, he just looked like, well, a regular guy. Dustin Rhodes and Vader started the match and we had to wait until the very end to see the Shockmaster in action and guess what, the Shockmaster won the match for his team with a bear hug. The Shockmaster continued in WCW with this construction worker character, with some genius in WCW deciding to give him a really poor rip off of the Beatles song Day Tripper as his new entrance music. You can tell here that the bookers of WCW were not letting Fred live this one down. Why they continued to call him the Shockmaster, we will never know. A construction worker is the last thing that comes to mind when you think of the master of shocking. Fred Ottman would now be a stumbling and bumbling workman as any hopes of salvaging the original Shockmaster character were now totally gone. Soon the Super Shockmaster was introduced, also played by Fred Ottman, but this updated version has been all but totally forgotten about. The Super Shockmaster pretended that the original Shockmaster was his uncle and really nothing more came of it. Fred left WCW and returned to the WWF briefly as Typhoon in 1994. He then worked the independent circuit using the Typhoon name, he also found some work in Japan and at WrestleMania 17 he entered the gimmick battle royal as Tugboat. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, the Shockmaster has become one of wrestling's ultimate bloopers thanks to shows like Botchamania, helping the clip from Clash of the Champions 24 get shared around the world. It's not like WCW had the greatest worldwide viewership in 1993, so many people got to see the Shockmaster's botch for the first time thanks to the internet. The WWE even tried to capitalise on the Shockmaster when he appeared on the August 31st 2009 episode of Raw, portraying this time by Santino Morella and again the Shockmaster fell through a wall. This time it was during a DX promo that also included Dusty Rhodes. In a roundabout way then, the Shockmaster's debut has become one of the most seen debuts of any pro wrestler in history, maybe for all the wrong reasons but still, it's hard to find a wrestling fan who doesn't know who the Shockmaster is. As the whole Shockmaster thing became viral within the wrestling world, Fred Altman would never be allowed to forget about it, and while he was initially upset with how his debut turned out, nowadays he finds the humour in it. He even tries to capitalise on the blunder himself by selling signed Shockmaster helmets at meet and greets. In a more recent interview, Fred Altman said, Nowadays, some movies, probably more than half, show the outtakes and the bloopers and the bad things that happen, and sometimes they're more entertaining than the movie itself, so going by that, you know the old saying, if you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? It was what it was and there's nothing that can be done about that, it can happen to anybody, and it has happened to many guys whether fans want to believe it or not. Maybe not as bad as mine, but they all have their episodes, so that's my cross to bear I guess in life.
I was embarrassed and heartbroken when it happened, but you know, it was live TV. In this particular case, they had this big pumped up deal and all the rigmarole and the mystery partner and everything like that, and it happened. So what can you do? All you can do is laugh. They call me the Shockmaster. Get me.